welcome to our channel bio by gulab sir for wisdom coaching center as a part of series of lectures today's topic is types of fruits after fertilization when that ovary change into the fruit ovary change into the fruit types of fruit as we already learned types of seed now types of fruits there are two major type true fruits and false fruits that true fruits that develop from ovary and false fruit that develop from other than ovary and separately we shall discuss about false fruit but now these are the true fruits are of three types simple fruit aggregate fruit and composite fruit what is simple fruit a fruit which develop from single ovary a fruit which develop from from single ovary is known as simple fruit aggregate fruit a fruit which develop from from many ovaries or polycarpary syncarpus poly carpellary apocarpus or syncarpus apocarpus or syncarpus ovary here these two words are very important polycarpellary either apocarpus or syncarpus so the fruit which develop from many ovaries that means polycarpellary the carpel many may how many ovaries so third type is composite a fruit which develop from entire inflorescence not flower entire inflorescence enter in process is known as composite fruit so again this simple fruit which develop from single ovary is divided into simple dry and fleshy dry fruit and fleshy fruit what is that dry and fleshy dry at maturity moisture content is negligible or less fleshy at maturity it has moisture content without without juice with juice in short you can write you can understand with juice without juice so dry again divided into dehiscent dehiscent and indehiscent dehiscent that means at maturity it get break open and indehiscent that do not get break open who are that are follicle capsule silica silicula and so on but indehiscence that they do not get break open at maturity they are carry not caryopsis sipsela we are concerned with droop simple dry fleshy that is droop because it is given in book that droop is a fleshy fruit example coconut this example is given in your book mango see these are the droop fruit d r u p e so 
Mango and coconut are simple, fleshy droop fruits. True, simple, fleshy droop fruits. Here, Hesperidium, lemon, orange, they have moisture, that's what called juice, even after their maturity. Poem, pineapple, pepo, all plants belong to Cucurbitaceae family that they have moisture even after ha. Huh. This aggregate that means coming together, itario berries, itario, that means coming together, clumping, composition of itario berries. Example, custard apple, custard apple is the example of itario berries, itario of follicle, itario of akin and itario of capsule. So these are these are the examples of or types of aggregate fruit. What is in your syllabus is only that given as simple fleshy fruit. Very important question can be asked in neat about this composite because there are some exceptions. There are of two types, sorosis and synchronous, which develop from synchronous and sorosis. That they are developed from entire inflorescence. See what is that inflorescence is very important to understand. Here, the fruit is thick fruit, as you would have seen, either banyan tree fruit or people tree fruit or anjir. Here you will find their small hole. And this is a thalamus. Actually, this thalamus, what we eat, is a false part having male and female flower. That female flowers are present at the base. Female flowers are present at the base where the seeds are developed and fruits are developed. So, there the seeds are developed and male flowers that are present just above it. So, here the male flower are present. And when that has vast, big vast relationship, Vast will enter into carrying this pollen grain, the stigma of the female flower producing seed hair. Seeds are produced hair inside. And this is a false fruit. But since it is developed from entire inflorescence, this is called synchronous. This is found in all fig or plants belong to family Moraci. Here, sorosis is another type of fruit that is developed from entire inflorescence. You would be knowing that pineapple is a sorosis fruit. It is developed from entire inflorescence. So you would have noticed there that this fruit consists of these are already fruitlets type because it developed from entire inflorescence and you would be knowing that here these these are the uh, impressions later after maturity left behind from each flower and having this spiny stigma that located which are cut off before eating. So this is what pineapple and even you know that jackfruit. So pineapple and jackfruit, pineapple and jackfruit, these are the example of this composite fruit. I hope you did understand these major types of fruits. Only what in your syllabus is droop as well as this can be asked as they are developed from entire inflorescence. Otherwise, rest of the fruits types are not in syllabus. Just I have been drawn this diagram or the chart so as to get recognized with these different types of fruits. Very important part in your syllabus is that which part of the fruit is being eaten by. So part of the fruit, part of the fruit that we eat, that we eat can be us in examination. Very important to understand first that fruit or typical example, just this mango having this epicarp as a protective covering, this is a mesocarp and just hard code behind the seed 
or around the seed is called endocarp and together this three part called pericarp so this is introduction to the different part of the fruit now very important is that which part of the fruit we eat so for example mango we eat mesocarp for example as diagram is already given here therefore mango which part we eat we eat mesocarp as it is fleshy and juicy so which part of the coconut we eat so we eat endosperm endosperm of coconut or endospermic tree and endospermic spermic tree that is coconut water so see the diagram for coconut is this is a coconut if you see on which we eat that raw coconut that what cut down and here it make the hole so here <coughs> this is what the central area hard coat around that white part of the endosperm what we eat see this is a white part called endosperm that we eat this white part is called endosperm that what we eat and this is a endospermic fluid so endosperm and endospermic fluid endosperm that we eat and endospermic fluid that we drink endospermic fluid then what are these this is epicarp wire that what thread fibers like structure or fibers that are used to make the ropes or coir is called mesocarp that initially look white in raw or tender coconut but later that become fiber what we remove before breaking this endocarp mesocarp and this hard stony is called endocarp so we do not eat the pericarp or we do not in part eat the part of any part of the pericarp but what we eat endosperm and endospermic fluid in coconut next example tomato which part of the tomato we eat as you know that entire part of the tomato is being used so here epicarp so just remember this is a tomato so epicarp we eat mesocarp we eat and endocarp that is small small seeds around small seeds sees this endocarp also we eat that means that means pericarp we eat so fruits belong to family solanaceae we eat entire fruit chili this tomato chili we eat entire brinjal we eat entire fruit so tomato we eat entire fruit now <coughs> pomegranate pomegranate that we eat seed coat we eat seed coat you would be knowing that seed has fleshy seed coat that is testa this seed coat is known as testa that we eat and therefore that part is known as balustor balusta balustula or balusta in cherry uh lychee not cherry in lychee we eat aerial part what is that aerial part it is all around the ovule this is suppose a integument outer integument inner integument and all around this ovary this part is called aerial this collar part is called aerial this can be highlighted by having this picture this is aerial and as usual suppose this is stigma style and this ovary so this part is called aerial or so known as collar so please remember that which part of the lychee is being eaten aerial so see this question can be asked that which part of the 
which type of fruit is being eaten by us? So question can be asked on this part. Therefore, I highlighted that fruits, either mesocarp, endocarp, pericarp, or entire uh, epicarp, mesocarp, or endocarp, or entire pericarp is being eaten, or endosperm eaten, or aerial part eaten, or balustra, that is testa, is being eaten. So these are the different parts of the fruits that we eat. And this question can be separately asked. So in this video, what we learn is that types, we, we learn this types of fruits, major types of fruits, just to introduce where the coconut and mango as a fleshy root fruit stand under simple fruit. And in second video, we learn about these types of parts of the fruit that we eat. I hope this short video liked and understood the types of fruit and which part of the fruit we eat. I hope you did enjoy and even if you can discuss among your friend and can ask question while having that fruit in hand, tell me which part of the fruit that we eat and in that way you can prepare this topic. I hope you did understand even if you are in doubt, you can ask in comment section. I appeal you to like our channel and subscribe it as well as press bell icon so as to receive new videos as and when they are uploaded. Thank you.